Hi guys and welcome back to another video with me and Mar Central. Um today we are somewhere different yet again and we're in Minus Vale um, version two. Um because why not? That is that is the vault. Why not? Um I've just double clicked something and I'm really worried I've just broken something. But we shall continue as this is my second take. We're doing a different route, we're doing the free to free service from this location to somewhere else. And um, we're driving this vehicle, the Iris Bus AXA um, automatic version, because I can't master the manual version, um, in a nice transitive livery. Um, I know that transitive do have a few of these in France. I have seen them myself, so I can vouch for that. So anyway, shall we get started? So now let's see if this... So that door's working. That door's working. What's weird about this... Oh, I've broken the air suspension on it. Weird thing about this is you've got to press these red buttons here to get the doors to actually open. You've got to press them first time and then the other keys work. So, shall we reverse and get ourselves onto the start? Oh, that's weird. Now, what you'll find with Minas Vale is it's quite a nice map for tight roads. So, I've never driven this route before, I do not know how we're going to go. Now the guessing game of finding out the location that we're going to. Now, uh, 323 service. So let's find that. That's not good. Oh, we're going to the actual location I've already got on the blind. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Well, that's funny, because I put a random blind on thinking it was not in service because it didn't have a number in the middle of it. Turns out it's the route we're doing, so that works out. Everybody's happy, so I'll put 323 on the blind as well. Because why not? Um, and then we will hang on till. Oh, that's not working. So we will hang on until half past. So, little nice change from me. And uh, there we go. Now, unfortunately, I am going to have to keep directions on for most of this run, if not all of it. Because I don't know where I'm going. Why is it come up with stop? Oh no, it just sat down at the back. This is a really, really smooth vehicle to drive. I do love the Iris Plus products on the um, game. Because they are very nice to drive. Knocked itself out of gear apparently, according to that noise. So far, I'm very impressed. I will just make sure that this is working. So far, I'm very impressed with this. I've only driven this bus without passengers, and I haven't had it in service. Oh no, I think I had some the odd time, but it wasn't for long. Uh, this will be nice to test the full vehicle's capabilities. Oops. Yeah, Minas Vale is quite commonly known for the tight roads um, that it's got. I usually drive the 610 service on this map that goes up the, sort of the tightest routes on the map. But I've never done this one before, so we shall find out what it's like as we go. So, I love how Hello. that's not the right destination. It's got the right number on it. Hello. I don't know how to get the front blind working, unfortunately. I do believe it, I might not have the fonts for it. That probably is why it's not working. 
I think I drove a route on Minnesvale before. It was quite a while back, actually. Um, and it was using the Marco Polo. I would have pulled near the curb, but the woman's actually stood right on the road. So... Papa's still not lined up to... There we go. Put them on, because the fancy thing to do. Now you and the usually or the or most of the time should I say I do tend to check the route before I drive it. There's very very few times I just drive it without checking it. Um, this is one of those times. Oh, but so far I am very much impressed. This is one of those buses that in the game, it, it, they're just nice to drive, nice and smooth, nice and easy, um, and just a, a nice bus to drive. So it makes a change. Just seeing if I had a bust upon it, but no, it just tells us our service number. I don't know if this version of the map is still available. Um, I am aware that they have done a recent update. Um, or the, the, the creators of this have gone on to create other maps. I don't know the availability of this one itself. However, if you do enough searching and you are committed enough, I imagine you'll find it. And good job I slowed down when I did, as that was a bit tighter than I thought it was. So if you want me to drive more routes on this Minisfail map, um, do let me know, as it's been a while since I've played it and I just wanted to test out this bus in front of you guys, so I saw the map on my list, I was like, oh, we'll load into that, see what we can find. So if you do want me to play more routes on this, I am more than happy to do so. As this is only the second route I've driven on this map, so sorry, and so far I'm very impressed. I don't think the people are that impressed, but I can't help how the road surfaces are. Oh, that's our first car meet. Oh, that was... That was fun. Yeah, I put the traffic on very, very low volume, as having learnt from last time I drove the, the other route, that really tight 610 service, um, I learnt not to have the cars on quite high because the creators of the map have not limited cars in many zones as seen here it does have that realistic challenge but I just don't want to get stuck I just want to point out when the gears are sounding like they're changing I'm not changing them so I don't know if that's just a very very intelligent bus or they got the sound effects off a bus that was changing gear at the time I don't know I'm going to go with it's a very clever bus. Congratulate the um, creators on the skin. This is a very interesting road. This is why I, I absolutely do love Omsi um, down to the ground, is because 
of the variety of places that you can drive. It's like last week we were driving on my on my map, that's a British based map, on the buses. This week we're driving um, here at Minas Vale. Um, the week before we drove a bus in Russia, then we drove one in Hong Kong. And it's the fact that such a small game, a small game made by two people based in Germany who wanted to just base it around a specific date within um, Berlin history. Um, as they just did that as a little idea, a little thing, little sandbox type kind of thing. And then next thing you know, a few years later, it's as big as it is. And yeah, it's, it's never going to be your Grand Theft Auto size ever because after all, it's driving buses around. But it certainly provided a fair few decent maps and the fact that I'd, I'd, I think if it had been a closed off game and you couldn't mess around with it as much as you can and the one an editor you wouldn't have been able to do half the stuff you did and it wouldn't have been as popular as it is oh, oh I've switched on that whoops I mean I can't oh I've got to get the screenshot anyway screw that okay there we go it is amazing how two people thought, ah, oh, see what we can make, and then Bon Appetit, six, six, seven years later, after it's been released, is this, so it's rather amazing. Now this arrow says for me to turn right, so, and those people don't look like they're moving for this bus, so, round we go. Oh, this might just be... Oh, final. Is that all? No, it can't be us. We must continue. I mean, we'll keep going until the timetable comes up, I think. And plus, the people are still on board. And I know that when we were experiencing some new route, this game is done well, so people do give off boots. Yeah, look, we continue round, so... This is... Cinch. Is that where we're going? Remember, look. Is that where we're going? Um, no matter, final, final... Oh, Stuff it, we'll see where we end up. <laughs> Oops. Oh goodness. Oh my god. Got out of the dam and scared. We are still on the 323 service, so we will just keep going. I just wish to clarify um, to make sure we haven't just been this way. So just give me a second um, while I just check. No, we've just come from that way, so no, we are continuing down the new roads. Just didn't want to have to end up recording it all the way back again and then go, hang on a sec, we've just driven down the same dirt track twice. But now we'll see where we end up. The joys of maps like this, where they're ever so slightly confusing, um, and such a joy of mystery when you're trying to find where to go. Especially like me when you just loaded up the game and thought, oh, it's not fair, I'll make a video. Why not? And the bus is performing well. I think I drove it on the Autobahn map last time as a little test. Um, so it's quite a, quite a different style of map. exciting news it is nearly Christmas um, I mean don't be pretending that you're shouting there going no that's not Christmas yet everybody and everything has been going on about Christmas um, it is a month and three days away as I record this month and two days when it's actually uploaded 
Um, and yeah, it's, it's happening. I mean, positives. Um, we're gonna get a Doc Two episode out of it. So I mean, can't really argue with that. Um, I mean. Oh no, I thought they were waiting. No, okay, Gen 3 2 2 route now as well. The other route I was actually going to drive initially. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get a Doctor episode out of it. Should be decent. I mean, if we're going on anything like the basis of. If, you, if you're not into Doctor Who, then feel free to turn your volume off for about a minute and just watch me drive. Um, because otherwise this will go right over your head. Um, but I think with the with the recent season of Doctor Who, I said recent, it's like here. Um, recent series of Doctor Who, um, oh, don't crash into the cars. It's improved when we got into the um, Divisions um, episode where they run about the countries being divided and that lot. That was a good episode and then we went up from there. Before that, I keep indicating, but I don't think anybody wants to do before. No. Um, pre that, it was quite a painful watch, I'm going to be honest. Um, I think the, the thing that sugarcoated the first episode for me of the new Doctor, new, I say new, it's a year ago, in my eyes it's still new, um, was, this is a bumpy road, was the Sheffield based episode, um, however the inaccuracies of the 98 bus going into Sheffield Interchange, pointed out by many of my colleagues, um, Mr Howard will be currently watching this video going, yes I know, I know how much you went on about it. Hi Henry. Um, and then the inaccuracy of an empty train in service leaving Sheffield Station. Now I have been to Sheffield Station quite a number of times, I don't know if you can tell by my accent, but Sheffield is somewhere I commute to quite a lot. Um, and I have never been on an empty train leaving there, no matter what time of the day I am at. I've never been on an empty train leaving there. So, um, and it was also like the wrong train stop train thing. Um, that was quite disappointing as well. But we'll, 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 go, we'll shave over that bit. Probably because I'm probably going to ruin it. For <laughs> many of you who haven't watched it and go, Ooh. Now, I'm not one of these. I'm not going to spoil what happens in each episode. However, a summary episode, like me saying Sheffield, I mean, unless you have slept in a cave um, and don't know what television is and did not see any of the adverts. If you are that far behind, then I mean you deserve to know it's in Sheffield. Um, there's just a little treat. There's a little treat. It's not a spoiler because I'm not telling you the plot line. I'm not telling you what happens. Um, but it's just facts with Central. Why not? Ooh. That was a bit of a struggle. Went to pin the wrong gear. Um, so I think they improved off that, I think they did improve off that. Um, for those of you who um, don't, are not into Doctor Who um, and just zoned out for a minute, welcome back. Um, this is the part of the episode where you can rejoin in and re-understand what is going on. Um, so other, I think other topical news, something I haven't covered as of yet, I don't think in discussion, I think I can cover it now because I mean it's pretty much just driving around on a road, not picking many people up, I must point out. Um, we've got three people on, so, I mean, that's a laugh. So, um, but I think it's important to discuss the new, the, the issues with right bus, I feel is the best way to put it. Um, for those of you who it confused a tad, here is a nice sum up of what happened. Right bus went bust. And when they went bust, they took a lot of things with it. Um, and they got very, very close when they were in the liquidation process of nobody actually buying the business. That would have been a complete and utter disaster. Now, luckily, at the very, very last second, Bamford um, came in and um, bought it, and it's become the Bamford Bus Company. Um, now what you'll find is you'll find a few new street decks, the first order that was released was first for Shortshire, 
few street decks are still coming up, have been delivered that were already previously made um, by Wright's bus before they went under and were being stored on their site. Now, the main rule for Bamford themselves is they are going to be going into hydrogen. Goodness, nice little passenger jumping on. So they're going to be going into hydrogen and um, fuel cell um, sort of renewable energy vehicles. Um, so I, I can't imagine the street that continuing as a product, especially saying that in, personally, you may argue this point, but personally, I believe that was the thing that brought right bus down. Um, if they wouldn't have gone with the street deck and then had to have all the issues associated with it, I think they'd have been fine. Are they, are they, I wouldn't say necessarily fine, I'd say they'd been a much better standing. Um, oh, you're wanting to jump off, okay, I don't know you know. Um, they've been a much better standing than they were, unfortunately going down the street light and the street deck road um, just didn't work. Uh, getting rid of the Eclipse and Gemini products um, was a really, really bad mistake. Um, but, however, as it's as it's urgent, oh wow, speed bumps now! I don't know how long this route is. I don't know if we're going to go and drive around the whole map. Uh, <laughs> why not, eh? Why not? At least on a different road surface. I mean, that's a positive. But yeah, feel free to post your opinions um, in the comments about the Bamford Bus Company slash Wrights Bus phenomenon. Um, they've also been delivered to the new park. Now, I used to go, used to do the annual trip to the Ribble event at Markham and go and have a look at Asian Docks at the Wrights Bus products. Um, although, from this year on, I won't be doing that as they're not going to Asian Port anymore. Um, I believe they're sending them to Birkenhead. So, um, they've changed the part, so that's the first sign of a change leadership. Um, but it will be very, very interesting to see what products they come out with. Um, especially saying that the renewable energies and the concept of climate change is really, really taking a grasp. Um, that will be very interesting. Um, see, we don't just... I'm more central, we don't just stick to OMS eh? we've talked about, we've, so far we've talked about Doctor Who, we've mentioned Bamford Bus Company and now we're on to climate change, um, what a laugh so you see it's all all random topics with me, oh god you just, okay now I'm just going to park here a minute, I, I can't check anything, I'm just going to you want to jump off, okay you can jump off just the one all he's left now is that one woman that jumped on at the first stop. Okay, um, just keep going. May as well. We'll keep going until the timetable comes up and tells us to stop. I think that's that's the rolling. Keep going till the map tells us to stop. Or the map ends. I mean, that's also an option here with this Minas Bay version too. Um, what I'm hoping is the next video as well um, is we're hopefully going to be looking at the master light, um, the um, for, for trademark purposes the totally not um, right street light, um, but the master light. Um, that's an absolutely superb bus. I've driven it. Um, I've spoken to the creator of the bus who will. The Marlock will be watching this, so hi Mr. Creator, um, and welcome. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not good with introductions. Um, yeah, oh this is nice. Oh, put it into Concord mode. If you don't know what, if you don't know what I mean by that, don't worry. Just remember that Concord was a very, very fast plane. And this is nice, goodness me. All the different scenery we've gone through, goodness me. I think we've just seen that entire map. I think I've chosen the bus route that just goes through the entire map. Let's see, is this the bit where we find out the route, the route's ending? Are we still... 323 three, still going. Okay. Well, there are areas of this map like that, for example, that... It's... It, it, 
you couldn't do a pay where it would be like Gladbeck. Um, we all remember Gladbeck. We all remember the, the bad tremors of Gladbeck. Um, the nightmares will never disappear with someone who, at the time, thought it was acceptable to release a map where um, I say that. I don't think I need to explain it. I think all I need to do is I just need to let you know that if IMAX still has this video out there, I really recommend watching it because if you don't even know what Gladbeck is um, and you want 20 minutes of laughing um, about something obviously related, that is how you should get your kicks, honestly. IMX did an absolutely superb job at, I'm going to put in um, quote marks, um, explaining and describing, evaluating um, Glad Beck, another rule of three, very impressed with myself. Um, but yes, he did a very good job at um, looking through Glad Beck. So, look, you won't, you won't get a pay wear out of this, but this is how I see this map is something like mine, like Harrafort, um, where this has been a much better nick than mine. Um, but someone has based it off a location that they know. Oh, even he's jumping off. I mean, we're not going to have any passengers on the bus now. I can't open the door until the bus is stationary. I just want to find that out as a cool fact. So he's not doing it like natural. I don't know. Um, but this is someone who has based it off an area, and yeah, it's probably not the most realistic or realistic, but it's still good in the challenges it provides. This is a roundabout. Okay, I was not expecting this. I mean, we've gone from sort of dirt track areas to now this. Now we're in sort of a, a, a built-up area. I assume we're near the centre. Oh, I think we are. Because that, that was a list of a lot of services on there. So we are still going. Uh, not the 962. Oh, look at the last one. always check. Because the time that you don't check is the time a car pulls out in front of you and then humiliates you when you're recording a video. Because that has happened to me before. Uh, happens to everyone. Everybody does it once. Everyone pulls out in front of a car and thinks, I am invincible. No, you're not. Oh, is this? Could this be it? No, okay, this is not the terminus yet. How far away are we from the terminus? Oh my goodness me, this is a, it's a good route, but my goodness, I didn't know it was this long. I didn't know any of routes on this map were this long. No, we're just trying the million and one of the bus routes. Now, do I need to, like, check where I'm going here? Hang on. Does that road... Okay, I can see things here, and I'm assuming that with there being no signs, I just have to go forwards. So that is what I'm going to do, because that seems like the safest thing to do. I just didn't want at the very, very last second to go the wrong way. Um and ruin what has been a perfectly bliss drive. We're still on there, the 323. I believe this is a Brazilian map, um, I believe. And I did, when I got this, it was sort of a nice tapping into their sort of mods. Let me check, do I actually turn right here? Okay, and left. Left! I mean, when I take my driving test, I better not do that. Oh my goodness me, we've reached the terminus. Well done us. Got no one on board, but well done us. Um, I assume I... Okay, I've got to go this way around, don't I? Silly me. Go this way around. I'm not going to get around that. That is a funny home. You know, like clown cars. Oh, hello, Mercedes. 
you have peered out of absolutely nowhere. There we go, that's our timetable, so that is us finished. I'm going to pull in the stand though, because otherwise, in my eyes, it isn't fully finished. Now, this is a bit where I am crashing. Yeah, I knew I'd have to mount that curb. Well then, that was service 323. Now, oh, we've now got a car behind us. That was service 323 on Minas Vale version 2. I don't know about you, but I've enjoyed that. Uh, get in the comments oh that was horrible that was horrible however um i hope you did enjoy it um i didn't know it was going to be half an hour long i thought we'd be looking at a 20 minute video but hey ho it was fully enjoyable um let me know if you do want me to drive more routes on here and if you do have any other vehicle suggestions um because i really did enjoy driving this bus um i know you have a few buses that have recently downloaded because having just sort of reappeared out of my cocoon um back into the omsi world i've looked i've gone oh that looks fancy that looks fancy i've downloaded a few stuff i haven't really gone into downloading maps as of yet um but i've just been downloading and trying the different buses out so yeah thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe if you have a question suggestion um yeah and need a download well i mean don't hesitate to ask um with downloads themselves um i mean <laughs> I can try and help you. However, um, with these, unfortunately, I the best just giving a Google search, to quite honest with you, um, because it gets to the stage where I don't really know. I can't remember where I got them from. Um, so, well, anyway, thanks again for watching, and I do hope to see you in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.